Okay, I had a cold for um, a bank shoe uh, sensor number one for the 2009 Mercedes-Benz ML350. So I searched and I found that uh, Bank 2 on the ML350 2009 is on the driver's side. And the sensor one is the one in front of the Cadillac converter. Okay, now the problem is how to get the access to it. They have, Mercedes have this aluminum thing protecting the sensors down there. Protecting um, all the exhausting, the heating and stuff. It's hard to get this aluminum. So I searched some video, but nobody put it as a ML350. They put like um, W163 instead of 164. So it's a different type of model. And on the other model, they say, take your wheel off and you'll be able to see the sensor. So I took the wheel off and I cannot see the sensor. Then they say, take this plastic over and then you're able to see the sensor. So I took the plastic over, I put it back and it's solid metal there. So you cannot see the sensor, okay? There's a part of the aluminum there that you can take it out, but the sensor is down there, so you can't see it. From under the car, you're able to see it through a little hole, but you can't hardly reach it. So the easiest way to reach that sensor, oxygen sensor, is removing that um, air filter from the top, the intaker, take the tubes out, the air tubes disconnect from the secondary blower, pull that out. Then you can go from the top and then you'll be able to see it from here, but you have to stick your hand behind and go by feeling. So I bought this tool on the internet, uh, which is like this. It's a 22 millimeters because the wrench, 22 wouldn't fit. So I bought a tool. One is a star, the other is a square. So you can actually see how the open is. So you can take the <coughs> pass through the cable where the plug is with no problem because because of that open. And um, I have a second one, which instead of being a star, is just a square. So you can put your wrench, suck. Uh, what is it called? The ratchet in there. So you can even use something like this. Well, here's the thing. I put it, I was able to stick it in there, I was able to get under the driver's side and find the cord, find the plug, the harness, disconnect the harness, you need a flat screwdriver, in, in fact, small one to stick on it, to be able to disconnect it. Then I put the tool in there, I put my sucker, I mean my, my wrench in there, my ratchet, but I couldn't turn. It's hard as hell. I mean, I've seen people like even like they have a good wheel on it and able to take it out after, you know, lubricate it, moving back and forth, back and forth, and finally comes out. Well, I didn't have that plate. Like I say, I could only stick my hand here and I could not turn much. So the way I found was stick the wrench in there and then put this pipe over and you still, because you won't have much to play because of the hoses over here. So what happened is I put the pipe and I couldn't move it either. So my other way would be stick the pipe and make it like, stiff and then take a slash hammer and just keep tapping not as hard because you don't want to damage anything you don't want to break the coils neither and miraculously I didn't even think that would work but it worked it came loose so it's loose now I can even reach from here now I'm gonna go under because I can get I can get a better that would work and uh, here comes the son of a gun uh, hey. You look at the harness, you can tell that this was rubbing against the, uh, what is it called, the shaft from the transfer case to the front differential, to the front differential, so I guess that was the problem. Alright, I already replaced it, put it back is much easier, that's what I use it. Uh, I put it by hand first, and um, uh, let me see. Okay. For the harness, I gotta go under the car. Alright, need some light. And it's not so hard. <clears throat> Instead of protection glass, I'm just wearing the reading glasses. Okay. Whew, let me switch. Okay. This is the downstream. Okay. That's a Cadillac converter. We're under the driver's side. That's the downstream. And the upstream that I change, it's up or higher there. Not much to see from this angle, but it's there. All right. What I need to do is plug the harness, which it goes here. So, uh, uh, 
try to stick my hand. So the harness previously was rubbing against the shaft over here and that's what ruined it. So here's a Cadillac converter, so here's the shaft that passes into this side and I found a clip over here. You see it? I guess it was out of the clip and that's why it was rubbing it. So I'm taking this out, stick that in there. Sorry about the shake, I only have one hand. So this way, the wire is not rubbing on the shaft anymore. So actually, I'm gonna do the reverse and I'll put it this way. All right, hold on a second. I need two hands here. Okay, the clamp is there. And now you just gotta plug it in. So you will hear a click. All right. Now there's a thing here that you can just fix it on it. So as I was down here, I noticed that the downstream was also rubbing against the shaft. So I'm going to replace that as well. I use a 22 millimeter wrench open wrench to get it loose and uh i'm changing the downstream as well okay the downstream was much easier than the upstream for sure all right i don't think it's bad but i have a new part so i might as well change it okay de volta i got it called downstream if you look at it with the downstream now now i'm back um i put a coat of the nc's it's like a copper paste so it keeps the electronics intact you can put that on the other end as well a little bit on the pins there's like four pins on this one the other one was six so i noticed the difference on the upstream and the downstream sensor is uh the upstream sensor they had six plugs and they were actually the pins the, the males and not the females and the other one and this one is a female and with only four so the difference on upstream and downstream okay i guess they do that on purpose so you can mix them up okay i'm gonna plug this back in under the car I lost my 22 wrench on way here, but I guess if you don't have it, if you find that a 7.8, you're fine with it, it would work. Okay, if it's with a little tiny bit of a gap, because the European cars uses millimeters. It's pretty tight. In fact, I may even put it too much torque on it, but it crushed a little bit. Okay. It's good. Now, same thing. Let's take the other out of the clip. We're gonna put the clip back and plug it back again. And that's the up and downstream on the ML350. On the driver's side, it's called uh, Bank 2 Oxygen Sensor 1, which is up on the front. And then this one on the back here, it's Oxygen number 2. So Bank 2 is on the driver's side on a 2009 ML350. And Bank 1 is on the other side over there, on the passenger side, which I didn't get to do that one yet. The difference is, uh, this is the downstream on the passenger side. Uh, the difference, it looks like the harden is a little shorter. I gotta see, the quality of the six of the oxygen, the fourth and the last one, oxygen sensor, which is the up upstream on the passenger side, in front of the catalytic converter, the last one. Okay, the last one that now. Okay. The last one, the upstream on the right side, passenger. Okay, the Cadillac converter. Okay, check for the lint. That looks pretty much the same here. Okay, try not to touch the sensor, I'm just touching a plastic. And this one doesn't come with the coat, neither. If it does, it's very little. Probably does, very little, but I haven't, so I might as well use Right? Why not use it? If I still have it, actually one of this, they okay, came in one of them, it's good for all four of them. Because you don't really use that much, you only gonna put on the thread. Okay, the anti seal copper. Okay. 
Perfect. Let's a little bit here. Can use for another electric connection. Why not? Here, getting rid of this. Even it's dirty. It was still working, by the way. Oh, oh I'm changing one and a car suspension and everything there. Like the hardest one was the upstream on the driver side, as you saw, because you got to go from the top of the engine. Everything else is underneath the car, so I'm pretty, pretty good with the going underneath. Pretty much. I save it. Just in case, you never know. I'm cleaning, test it later. Keep the good ones. Alright, ready for the last one. And finally, the last one I got in there. The position sucks. Okay. Now, I just gotta plug the hardness. That's the last one, the upstream. On the passenger side here. Which is called sensor one, bank one. Sensor one is up on the front. Bank one on this car because it is, there's a little clip over here, gotta put it on it. Uh, okay, it's there. Now will bring this here, and we'll plug this in to here until it clicks. Okay, both sensor in place, the downstream and the upstream. Over there. Okay. That's the upstream. And this is the downstream. That's kind of like her. This is the front of the car. That's the back of the car. This is the passenger side. And the front side's over there. So we change all four oxygen sensors, which the mechanic wants $750 just to change one. $230, he wants it on a sensor. He wants, of course, he wants to buy the original Mercedes and blah, 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 the right amperes, the right voltage and blah, blah, blah. But I bought the aftermarket. If it doesn't work, I'll change one for the original. But still, not $236. Now, $236, he wants uh, whatever, $300 for labor, and then tax, and I know at the very end, he wants to charge me $750 for one sensor change. I spent about $200, and I have, of course, about Amazon, and I have all four sensors. It wasn't that hard. That's up for all the bloods in my head right now. Damn, yeah. Cut this with attention, and my head's all swollen. But it feels good. Okay, now I'm gonna go backwards, start putting everything. I took this wheel, which it does make a difference when you have the wheel off. Not for the fact that the guy said that on the other video that it would give me access to the oxygen sensor in the front, on the driver's side, but that was a lie. But one thing was good. It actually gave me a lot more light and space to work on here. Okay, so let's start with this liner. I'm gonna put this thing back in place. By the way, it's a 10 millimeter. Easy. Okay, one here. I'll tie in a second. And then one more plastic uh, up here. Then two of those screws will go up here. Okay, a little bit of a commercial. Oh, hey, right. BB Blaster. BB Blaster, that's the last one. Little tip, don't go with the gun right away. Do my strip the hole for your Mercedes, do be sorry. Alright. 
That's it. You got to fit right. And there's a clamp in the back, you gotta do it. So, in the very end, it has to look like that. And flush with this. Now we can get the tubes. One on each side. Okay, one goes into that end. The other goes into the end to the front, just like when you took it out. Okay, there you go. Back the way it was. Now I just gotta reset the codes and drive for about 40 miles. And hopefully, the code for the oxygen sensors and the heating sensors will go away. And then I can do the inspection because I was rejected. Thanks for watching.